Bro, this is the best one, bro. This soundtrack is the weakest out of all of the personas. All oh, the phrasing is so f up. I don't want this soundtrack to end now. What's up, everybody? Julian here. Since I already reacted to Persona 3 Reload soundtrack, it's just natural that I do the same with Persona 4 soundtrack. Why you say? Well, I gotta be honest, I was requested on Patreon to react to this, but in their request, they told me that the Persona 4 anime soundtrack is superior, apparently. Superior and better than the game's OST. Wait, what? Do you want to insult the Patreon for thinking differently? Well, you shouldn't, but you can still argue respectfully about it in the comment section. No further ado, let's get into this. This is the same song as in the opening movie, if I'm not mistaken. It's crazy, man. Every time, every persona song, man. The bass player is a beast, always. It's crazy because we have some trumpets really back in the mix. Now they are louder, actually. Oh. I swim in the sea of the unconscious. That is pretty dope for a Persona game. I've only played Persona 5, but... Maybe the, the general theme of an unconscious self is the same. A flute solo. With lots of reverb and delay. Well, the lyrics stopped working. Thank you very much. Oh. You see, are you listening to the bass right now? It's very interesting, you know, how in Persona 3 and 4, one of the main musical resources, so far at least, is hip-hop and rapping. Bro, now Heartbeat and Heartbreak, first songs today are the ones I have already reacted to. Okay, these lyrics are so messed up, man. Or actually no? Actually no. I am the one messing up. I don't know, the bass is like a big elephant with so much rhythm, man. <laughs> Nailing it on the dance floor. So heavy but so nimble. Oh. 
It's very interesting looking at the lyrics actually. And the drums are very, very simple, very minimalistic. But I like that because that way the bass can shine even more. It's beautiful because we have a little, very subtle electro and or cybernetic effects they are very very subtle and very punctual the bass is even more upfront in the mix than these resources which i appreciate actually and some bubble like things It's interesting because this song is kind of raw, kind of old in terms of emotions, but it's talking about a heartbreak. Yeah, the drums are probably a loop. They have to be. Okay. A very interesting piano solo. It's quite contrasting, man. Yeah, it's quite contrasting because you would think that they would use some more jazzy language, but the pianist used more of a classical music language, which is again intriguing, but it is surprising. Although I'm not a fan of him or her playing with the sustain pedal on most of the time, it makes it more difficult to understand actually. Oh, that was so clever. A little frequency change in pitch. Quite back in the mix, but... Very interesting. That makes you wonder about the decision making. Why? Why to include such a subtle detail, man, that most people will miss? But that's the magic of production, I guess. Like a dream come true. We don't know these lyrics, okay? Oh, here comes the jazz, baby! Lovely brass arrangement, man. You can listen to the different voices and my melody and some other, probably saxophones because saxophones are always or are usually the ones that do more complex melodies. They are doing more intricate melodies. I am liking this, liking this so far. Exactly. Oh, the regulators. And articulations were just... And one solo saxophone playing them in melody. Interesting. 
We don't have lyrics. Uh, yeah. Oh. Oh, this is the main section. The A section and our chorus. Think of it as a chorus. Oh. Okay, solo time. You know what? This may come as unnecessary for some of you, but it's quite surprising to hear that piano solo because this song is all about a very classic swing vibe, swing one of the musical styles or subgenres of jazz. It's called like that because the eight notes have a different rhythm sensation. The swing feel. Well, I was messing up at the end, but you get the idea. And I feel that the swing feel of this piano player is not there yet. It may have been an artistic choice, but I think the brass section had the swing feel much more intense interiorized and that's actually a very common thing these guys usually have the swing feel into their brains hearts and asses man it may be also that uh, the piano player is not that into jazz and this may be weird because well i am not north american i am south american but yeah who am i to judge the swing feel of someone if i am not american It's just still pretty good, I mean. The musical skills are there. Listen to the background. Oh, it's genius, it's genius. It's such a wholesome melody, man. Oh, a trumpet? The beauty in this is this big band format. It's so classy. So fucking elegant, man. It's crazy because this gives me the sensation to be in a very fancy club, but it's a club for uh, underage persons. I don't know, a classic club, classic jazzy club for teenagers, or not even teenagers, for people that don't drink alcohol. Those lines there, man. I loved those chromatisms. The jazzy language, you see? Yeah, the motherfucking brass is always spot on with that. I will face myself. So easy going, so relaxing. Damn, this shit is emotional, man. Is this a battle theme? But... Oh my god! <laughs> Again? Yes, sir. Oh, this is a battle theme! Cybernetic textures. I 
I love that way of accenting. It's so misleading. A violin. Now this is an unusual Paul Madden. Expecting this, and we have to pay some attention to the drummer here. He was doing some very interesting tom playing here. The group changed completely. It's lovely. More than a group, he's creating an atmosphere. The cybernetic stuff, plus the story guitars, plus violin, not gonna lie, give a very particular vibe. Even quite weird for me, but it's surprisingly good. It's so unusual. Although we also had acoustic guitars there. Oh! Such a wonderful vibrato, man! Okay, beautiful mini solo! The syncopation, bro! Oh! Not gonna lie, this song is the most interesting one so far you can actually get into the anime feelings right now man this is shouting anime emotional moment incoming Okay. Usual chord progression right here. Very anime esque. Oh, oh. There's no way. There's no way you are into a battle, man. <laughs> You're in the middle of a battle and suddenly. Everything got sad as fuck. And now wholesome. That is one of the huge strengths of this song. It made you go through a different variety of emotions. A variety of different emotions would be uh, a better sentence. Hey, interesting, man. We had the same melody, but only piano, man. Only piano outro. I'm telling you, violin and piano can be one of the most, or two of the most, Emotional instruments ever. We shout to the truth. Oh, a bluesy organ. Let's go. I like. 
And the role of the organ is so simple. I don't know where we are in the lyrics. Well, okay, I'm here. It reminds me a bit of my early times of a teenager before I turned into a crazy metalhead, man. Lovely, the organ is playing this in melody as the vocalist in the chorus. It's a very optimistic vibe. I mean, it makes sense with the lyrics. A moment to break free and uh, get into the truth, man. That uh, would make you happy as fuck. It sounds so similar to some things, right? But to what? That is a cliche I know it, man. Da 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 ti da 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 da. Here comes this one. A cliche even for music from the sixties or something. I don't know. If you know what song it is reminiscent, man, let me know. What is the song I like to this uh, little melody? Your affection. That's the beauty of this music, I mean, so many resources and little elements. Oh, the bay! And listen to the organ. It's quite uh, tropical, I don't know. It's quite jungle like. And it is so subtle, so specific. It, it is not even playing uh, almost. It's doing. A little very punctual mood world, man. I feel like we are in a, in a beach, a futuristic, chilling beach. In an Asian country. I don't want to say Japan, but uh, let's uh, think about uh, another country. Whatever the title is. Oh damn! This may be my favorite now. Oh. The strings arrangement is so beautiful, man. With certain counter melodies. The middle voices harmonizing each other. The main melody is in the piano, but damn, this is string section, bro. It's so angelical, bro. Of course, we were gonna have 
sad moments. This is a JRPG. And an anime. So, yeah. Of course. That main motif is so fucking powerful, bro. That. It is, I don't know. It is always a way of saying embrace yourself. Pain is coming, bro. <laughs> and since it is an ascendant melody, I don't know, it just brings on so much energy. Positive or negative, happy or sad energy. Emotional energy, we can call it actually. Lovely arpeggios, man, in the piano. Left hand. Because the right hand is too busy playing melody and supporting chords. Or intervals more, but now it is again playing chords in the in the left hand. It was only for the previous preview section. I feel something, man. I feel a little bit shocked. It's just a song to look outside. Look to your window. And keep looking at a certain point, man. Reflecting. <laughs> smile! And now we should smile. What a change, man! My brain is having trouble processing that, that change of atmosphere. Although, this one is also emotional and... It's, it sounds a little bit as... Some song from Undertale. Which one? I don't know. Especially the very first part. It's lovely how the piano player supports the main melody. He's doubling the main melody and also doing very beautiful chords as a way of accompaniment. One is what a song for chilling in a farm or something. Appreciating the simplicity of nature, man, of life, even. Maybe that's the reason it's called the smile. Okay, a change of octave. Ah, oh, I mean the violin playing at that register with that vibrato is just so emotional. It hits hard, man. Accuse the guitar. Let's go. Nylon strings guitar actually, I think I may be mistaken, but I think so. Bro, and what about this freaking bed? This is like, oh, I forgot the name, the black cat in Persona 5. We had this <laughs> circular body.
and everything is on top of a hip hopish percussion or groove. We could have someone rapping here actually. While taking out the violin. Or taking out that melody. Because it is just so innocent, so beautiful to <laughs> actually introduce some rapping on top of that. A little bit of a solo or a variation would be a better word. Oh, oh all the, those high notes. Naya, yeah. this is like a solo. And it's lovely, very punctual, minimalistic, but with phrases full of feeling. Wow. Ah, uh, very dope, vibrato. Heaven. Oh, oh, the chromatism. This is so fucking sexy, man. You now know it. Heaven is sexy. Again, a very jazzy tune. It, it's very dope how the drummer is doing such a simple groove or pattern with rim shot. It's very open, man. There is lots of space. That's also because of the format, a trio in the instrumental part. Oh, lovely unison. And now the bass player changed. He was playing a half tempo before. Boom. The boom. Boom. The boom. And now he's walking. The walking bass, bro. He's bang tung bang tung bing tung ba da bing. Only that. Only the bass made all of this much more dynamic. Well, also, I think that the drummer is playing more a cymbal than before. We only had the rim shot before. Oh. It's just so fucking smooth. This is an intriguing track, man. The lyrics. Are quite depressing. And the walking? Okay, no. Okay, no. from the like frail snow, they slowly disappear. But it was through the favorite box, got me in bloody please. Those long days passing by from the dough, like frail 
Yeah, it's very nostalgic. It's about remember better days, better times that apparently were heaven to us. The piano is always playing these little feels. They are more feels than they are solos. Okay, fade out. Okay, not too shabby. Signs of love. Oh, a little bit of Django. Let's go. Oh, not anymore. Bro! This is the best one, bro! We gotta talk about this! This is wonderful! Now I am excited! Let's fucking go! The introduction, the drumming intro. I am pointing at my drum kit for unknown reasons, but it was amazing because it is based on a very jazzy drumming resource called Jungle. It created a whole style of drumming in jazz and it is basically playing that very particular pattern with the toms, the floor tom and the rest of the toms. I have no idea why the name is Jungle. Does it sound like a jungle to you? This is the pant, pam, 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 da pat, pant, Band, band, baga. And after that, bro, we had a very dope vocal section, but the first notes of the vocals were embellished by the brass arrangement. They were supporting those same hits. We gotta listen to that again. You cannot tell me you don't want to listen to that again. Yeah, it is so fucking classic, man. But now, the drums groove is much more of a hip hop downbeat groove. Did you see that? Oh, and they are changing the notes. The syncopation. Let's see the verse. Dropping over the jungle? Ah. It was a, she was a struggling there, I can tell, man. Oh. I actually love the lyrics also. Signs of love overshadowed by dreams. Wow. Oh. oh, it's pretty clever. This is my favorite, man. Nothing will top this. There's no possibility, man. Very dope trumpet solo. It sounds so reminiscent of New Orleans early jazz stages. And now a little bit of sex. And we had the whole brass section doing some backgrounds there. You see how in that part they are anticipating that note? That is genius, bro.
Ah. Oh, oh, and that ascendant parted him from the from the base. Dum -pan, dum -pan, dum -pan, dum -pan. So reminiscent of disco even. From Last Train to London, do you know about that song? If not, Google it. YouTube it. And you will see. And Spotify it. And you will see what I'm talking about. It's a very refreshing and clever way, bro. Of bringing very, very ancient and classic jazzy resources into more modern groups or or styles textures specialist oh my oh my okay this one is energetic i love this one also it's a perfect mix. Of electronic resources and acoustic instruments, real instruments. <laughs> kind of a Kenny G saxophone here. No, actually it's better than Kenny G's tone. Oh, the rhythm displacements of that motif. Da 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 Oh. Bro, and can you listen to this for a second, please? Uh, where is it? Dot Right? That responds to the to the main melody from another instrument in the brass section. Uh-huh. It's like a little explosion or something. Ah. I was I was hurrying it up. Very dope with the piano player, man. He was using the main melody as a resource for improvising in this solo. <laughs> he is more into the, the more classical music oriented language, for sure. Some saxophone trickery. Actually, my guitar professor used to tell me, don't do so many acrobatics. Those were saxophone acrobatics. Flashy things, things that sound so fucking flashy, but not necessarily shows your proficiency as a musician. That's what he said. I always get that hit earlier than it actually is. This is just so fucking tasty. This is a celebration song. That would be. Give me more, yes sir. Oh, the phrase, it is so fucking dope. Man, I don't want to. I don't want this soundtrack to end now. We got to the good part. Even the piano player is starting to bring on the tasty leaks. 
I was actually doubting about his taste, but not anymore, man. About his rhythm, about Dave. Well, this is the last one of today. We have Japanese lyrics. Fuck me. Let me know in the comments if you got this far in the video or we're just looking for this song's reaction without actually watching the whole video. Well, just let me know in the comment section what is your favorite song so far. I mean, your favorite song of Persona 4. Let's go. Oh, I'm a fool. This is obviously like the ending, right? It has all the aesthetic to be an ending. The voice is so fucking much. And obviously the vocalist is always uh, on top in the mixing, but... There was an interesting exaggeration here for that. And those are actually clapping. Something weird happened there. Repeat it, please. They didn't. I listened like some. Uh, like someone sang that? Bro. There's nothing else than a constant and infinite repetition of this uh, chorus or the whole song. So I will end the fucking video now. Roll the fucking credits! Thank you so much for watching, listening, hanging around, sharing your opinion, actually. It's very valuable for me. Peace. Actually, I need to say some final thoughts, man. Or the video would be a little bit lame, but I'm not gonna lie. I thought this soundtrack is the weakest out of all of the Persona's soundtracks. But there were two songs, man. Signs of Love and Specialist that they were the spotlight on this soundtrack. They weren't monotonous at all. The arrangements were very clever. There's also a couple of songs that were pretty cool but those were the ones that saved this ost and now after hearing them i still think that this may be the weakest persona 4 soundtrack in my opinion well i have only listened closely to the persona 5 and 3 soundtrack although i think that i have many songs to listen for the persona 5 soundtrack i have only listened to like three between two and four songs i'm not sure it was a long time ago but uh, it's hilarious because i'm not even into rap well i was when i was like 12 years old but even so um even if i'm not into hip hop anymore i enjoyed much more the persona 3 soundtrack than this one even though i love jazz i studied jazz and we had more or traditional jazz songs in this soundtrack i enjoyed the ones from persona 4 and 5 better the use of jazzy resources is more modern is more of a blending of different musical genres as it happened here on some tracks but but yeah persona 5 funky vibes the hip hop and electronic glitchy vibes from the third one i like them more do you now i'll be going peace as always feel free to like subscribe and even comment whatever insanity is on your mind right now seriously anything yeah even that